So as a person that has been deploying backend services on servers for a while, I've always had problems with the course policies. So in this video, we'll see how to use Kong API Gateway plugin specifically for course policies. So to find out more, stick with me. Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here and in this video series we'll have a look on the Kong API Gateway and its plugins and we'll try to apply the plugins on our services and more specifically in this video we'll see how to use the course plugin that the Kong provides in its free version. So without any delay let's get down to work. So first of all let's have a look of why the course even exists so here is a simple description of what course stands for so cross origin resource sharing aka course is an http header based mechanism that allows a server to indicate any origins domain scheme or port other than its own from which a browser should permit loading resources so to understand more here in a schematic way we can understand more clearly of what course is so for example suppose we have a website that loads content from its own origin which are the same origin requests so for example to load a website it should make some get requests for some images and for maybe CSS files and any other APIs that a backend service provides. So these are called same origin requests. If the domains match exactly the domain that the site has been loaded and the requests that are being sent to the domains of the backend servers. Also to load the rest of the website we have some images, some fonts or maybe again some requests that are being sent to the domain that is not the same as the domain that the website originally gets loaded. So these are called cross origin requests and without setting any specified headers the browser would block the requests and the response wouldn't be coming back to the website. So in order to see how to implement these policies in the Kong API gateway and to understand more let's get in action and let's get down to work. So in my machine in a random port I've run a echo server which echoes whatever request that is being sent to it and in my Kong config as we saw in the previous video I have the service defined in my config file so if I nano the config file I'll see that a service has been defined and proxy to the upstream server which is my echo server so if I hit docker compose up and my container gets up and running and also I see that in the port that the Kong is running if I make a request to the slash echo I'll see that the exact same response is coming from the backend server. So my basic implementation of the Kong declarative mode is successfully working. And if we see in more details, I'll inspect the request. And in here, in the response headers, I see that there is no header related to the course policies. So if I go to the Kong official website and in the section related to the Kong course plugin, I can see that there are some configuration for setting the course plugin to the Kong's config file in the declarative mode. So in here I see have to enable the plugin globally and if I scroll a little bit below I'll see that there are all the parameters that I can pass to the plugin which I'm going to copy the example configuration that is in here and if I copy and I'll hit Control C in here to stop the docker compose service and if I again nano the config file and if I paste whatever I just copied from the official documentations I can see that I have a section where I can define my origins 
and here is the place where I can define which origins which domains can use my contents if they ever make requests to my domain also I can see that which methods are allowed to be requested to my domain also I can define which headers are allowed so if I save my file and again I'll say docker compose up to start my Kong service and also because I'm not running my Kong on a HTTPS domain I should be requesting from a HTTP domain so that the browser wouldn't block my request so I have found a random domain which is hosted in a HTTP form so in here I'm going to make some requests to the Kong server and I'm going to use fetch and I'm going to copy my Kong's URL and paste over here as the URL for the fetch function so here I'll hit enter and I see that here it is blocked by the course policies so as I said because our Kong is served on a IP and it is not even HTTPS the browser is going to block the requests so I found here in the Chrome flags in the section which says block insecure private network requests so here if I disable this flag and reload my browser I'll jump back to the console and make the same request again so this time I see that it is because of the course policies and it is blocked because of the load origin is not equal as the domain that I'm making the request so if I go back to my config file I'll hit ctrl c again I'll try to edit my file and in here I'll copy the URL of the website that I'm going to allow the requests. I'll paste the URL. So just make sure you remove the last slash from the URL. I'll hit save and again I'll try to run my Kong. This time if I make a request I'll see that the response has come from the upstream server and I get the status code 200 which is okay and also I'll see here that the access control allow origin is the same as the domain that I'm making the request so what happened here is that the con gateway will give responses only for this domain so as we see here if I go back to the config file the origins key accepts a array value so I can pass here as many domains as I want for example I have two different domains that are making requests to the same backend the same gateway I can add them over here but there is a value if I remove the domain and I pass the star as the value I'll hit save and again I'll try to run my Kong gateway and also this time I'm expecting to get the response from the Kong gateway so I'll hit enter and in here again I'll see that the status code for my request is 200 and I get the response from the upstream server so I hope you get the idea and as we saw in the parameters that are valid for this plugin we saw the origins key where we can add our domains that are valid to make requests and share content between domains and we can pass methods and the available values can be any one of these also this is an array and it can accept multiple values also we have the section for the headers we can add any headers that can be valid for example if i go to the config file i can add over here for example the authorization header which can be a valid header to be sent to my con gateway and again also we have some other options that we can pass to this plugin we have here the max age 
which indicates how long the result of the pre-flight request can be cached. So here we successfully used the course plugin and we enabled it as a global plugin which will take effect in all our services that we declare in our config file. So we can enable the plugin on a specific route. So in this way we should pass the route key where we define the plugin options and also we can enable the plugin on a service and again in this case we should provide the service key where we define our plugin options. So that's all for this video. I hope you learned something new in this video and in the next videos we are going to see how to use other plugins. So don't forget to watch the next videos and thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next videos.